as being beautiful. So you you need to look beyond beyond his tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah, she has a good curve and all of that. We should look into inherent virtues that will not fit. Even when that slim lady gets pregnant and, um, you know, pregnancy changes her shape and the likes, but her attitude will still remain the same. So we should look at attitudes, virtues that we can cope with, that can give us rest. Those are the things that will last long in marriage. So while finding true love, I would plead and I would advise the young guys and young ladies now to look beyond that. He has money, yeah, he does not have, he's from a wealthy background, he's from a poor background. Those are not stable factors. We should look more into more permanent and lasting factors. More permanent and lasting factors. That's my take. Yeah. Yeah. As for me, my advice, my number one advice is that we should always ask for ask God for direction. Yes, because the, there is this um, general saying that uh, the issue of marriage or the issue of relationship or, or the issue of choosing a life partner is a black market. So it is only our creator, our God, yes, the God that we serve, be it a Christian or a Muslim, that sees the end from the beginning. So we should always ask him before we choose our life partner. We should always ask him to direct us. And when we do that, we should keep our minds crossed. Like, keep our minds open. Yes. Don't be rigid. Yes. Ah, no. Because I want my man to have um, a Rolls Royce. Ah, this one that does not even have um, a bicycle. Now says he wants to come and propose. God forbid. No, we shouldn't be rigid. Yes. We shouldn't be rigid. And that thing is that we should always have it at the back of our mind, yes, that uh, we are, that, that we are, the decision we are about to make is, is a life, is, is a life journey, yes, is a life decision. When you go into it, it, it can make or mar you. So that is why you have to be patient when you are choosing a life partner and you wait for your time, yes. Because God's time is the best. Mm. Wait for your time. Well, that, that's a few things I can say now. All right. Thank you, uh, TikTok, Miss Titi Lyo, for bringing us um, on the show. We, we really appreciate the opportunity. All right, so I'm saying a very big thank you to my guest, Mr. Ajala Luadam Lola and Mrs. Ajala Maria for joining me live on today's show and for coming around to share their love stories with my listeners out there. And I really hope everyone who listens to this episode has learned and has picked one or two things from their love stories. Okay, till last to the last Sunday in March, whereby we'll be having another edition of Love, Love Gist. Of course, I'll be same time, same host, but this time is a different guest because I'll be hosting another amazing couples on my show as they share their love experience. I am Sanusi Rebecca Titilayo. Thank you so much for joining me live. And don't forget that it continues this week. Uh, Friday, 9 a.m., my health, your health, Saturday, 9 a.m., same thing, my health, your health, as we discuss things that pertain to our health, and trust me, uh, on the health segment, I'm always hosting medical practitioners, pharmacies, doctors, nurses, psychologists, and lots more, nutritionists, of course, on my show, so you can't afford to miss any of this wonderful episode, all you just need to do is just to click the link, and you enjoy the show, and trust me, it's such an episode that doesn't take much data, you can compare, pod- listen to podcast, the data podcast is going to consume to youtube channel and if you feel anyway but then every weekend on tiktok show are amazing content which you can't afford to miss any of the episode once again without talking so much i don't want to do a whole lot of talk what i'm just saying in essence is that i'll be expecting you to join in live on my show this weekend as i host amazing medical 
practitioners, every practitioner that has to do with your health on Tea Talk Show. Once again, thank you so much for li- clicking on this podcast episode. Thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful week ahead. I love you all. Bye.